Hey, this is Smith with the jazzandbrand.com here with Golden Brooks, my girlfriend in my mind. <laughs> How's it going? Look at this jazzy outfit. I I'm love trying. It. Look at your jazzy outfit. It's just a little something, something. A little something, something. <laughs> well, we are so grateful that you're sharing your story with TV One Thank and you. the Hollywood Divas. From what we can see, though, on one of the first episodes, there seems to be some tension with, between some between you and some of the cast members, particularly Lisa Wu. Would you say that? How do you feel about people coming from reality into the acting world? Is that is it? Yeah, you know, here's the thing. It's not so much in the show, yes, Lisa kind of represents a piece of pop culture that I have sort of not had a lot of experience with. And when you look at reality shows outside of Hollywood Divas, you see it's, it's like crabs in a barrel, you know, and, and people are sort of, you know, taken out of context. People are made to be outlandish. And, and then you know, it's basically how many hits do you have on Twitter, how many likes do you have, you know, how many are you trending, and that seems to be a theme in terms of a lot of the casting process nowadays, and that's frustrating. And it wasn't um, like that when you... When I started, it was about the training, it was about, you know, I, I did my career very traditionally, I took the subway to acting class, I, I, you know, I went to college, and I'm not saying that every reality star um, is you know it's not an artist I'm saying it's you know and they're just puppets the business is the puppeteer the business has changed and social media has had a lot to do with that um, I just feel like you know with you being trained taking the subway to acting class going up the ladder and through the ranks and then somebody comes from yeah, middle town you know, America like how do you feel about that's, that that's hard you know but you have to think about it it's not that little girl's fault it's the business they per they pump these people up on such a you know a superficial level they pump people up and what that does is it it creates a false sense of what art is um, because it becomes about something other than the craft it becomes about who's trending followers you know how many viewers do you have and I get it's a business but we have to remember why we got into this why Dorothy Dandridge did it why you know, um, and all the beautiful black women who started before us, not to trend on, you know, social media, but to really, really, truly be an artist. And my voice in the show is to make sure that that's heard. I want that to be heard. I understand. Yeah. So, like, we've seen you on some of the red carpets with your beautiful daughter. Aww. Do you think we're going to get a chance to see her on the show a little bit? She's on the show one episode. Just one? Yes. I have to keep her... I want to keep her privacy hers, you know. Um, it's important to show her just to show my inside life, to show that I'm a mother. But I definitely want to preserve her her anonymity. Yes, You're yes. so cute. Thank you so much. So, you fine. Thank you. <laughs> but hey, we'll take, we're going to leave that off camera. Though. All right, all right, look. <laughs> so look, you coming from the scripted world, what was the most thing, what was most shocking about stepping into the reality oh, world? Uh, oh, 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 oh. Um, <laughs> the biggest thing... <laughs> Um, it's, you know what, it's, 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 it's really just changing the way you think, you know, um, and I wouldn't have done any, just any reality show. I mean, I definitely was very picky, you know, when I chose my, the show to be on. I think Carlos King, I trust him. I think, um, he has a very good track record. Um, but I also think this is a show that allows us to explore all of these other sides to, to us. It's In addition to the fun stuff, like what Lisa and I and Paul and I, it's really like a journal. It's a journey of of what Golden Brooks goes through her day to day. Do you My, have any fears about sharing this piece of you on reality TV? You know, I, I want to show those fears. I, one thing I learned from Mara Brockett Kill is that it's okay to show your flaws. It's good to show your insecurities. It's good to show those, those pieces of you that aren't necessarily pretty because those are the pieces that allow you to grow. Those are the pieces that that little girl in Compton or South Central will hold on to. And that's what I, I want to show. You know, I don't want to show, oh, I just wake up, I woke up like this. No, Absolutely. I want to show all the facets of of Golden Brooks, the good, the bad, the ugly, and that's what being a real woman is. That's what being a diva is. So what are we going to learn about you through this show? What are we going to learn? Well, you are going to learn that I am um, incredibly passionate about my black women. Um, I'm incre incredibly passionate about how women are portrayed, about my crafts. 
um, and that I I really I am no business I'm no nonsense when it comes to well I think we already knew that people who come in and try to just get in the business just because of you know they were on a reality show. You have to show me what you can do. I don't think I'm, you know, as Lisa says, I don't think I'm Meryl Streep, but I mean, I still think we have to hold ourselves accountable to that level of artistry because why do we get in this for mediocrity? So that's my goal. That's what I want people to see. That's what they'll see. Last question. Through the filming process, what have you learned about yourself during this whole process? not as secure as I thought I was and I learned that um, that I should not be so I should not hold so close I shouldn't hold my value system so close to where it inhibits me prevents me from really allowing someone else to come in that's you know lesson. yeah that's a good lesson we're gonna watch it all unfold right thank here on you. Hollywood Divas thank you. thank you so much for talking to us here at the jazzandbrand.com we appreciate it thank, thank you, you. Thank